All right, uh, frustrating night to say the least. Uh, we never got any kind of semblance of rhythm going offensively, and uh, never, never found. When we did find gaps, we didn't make plays, and far too often ended up with a tough shot at the end of a possession. That's uh, that's. Certainly on me for not getting them a little better prepared. It's not like they snuck up on us with that zone. We've gone against it before, and we've executed against it before. But for some reason, I wasn't able to, to get the guys in the right spots tonight. And uh, then you throw in a 13 missed free throws, 16 for 29. And uh, I didn't think we lacked fight. I didn't think we lacked toughness. Kid hit a tough three at the end. Uh, obviously, looking back, I probably, well, you know, I, we, we talked over the foul, not foul thing, but we were so much better on the defensive end than the offensive end tonight that I thought transition might be our best look at that point to, to try to get something in the open court after a stop. Uh, kid knocks down the three, and but that's my thought process on that. Uh, a couple times I wish I would have used timeouts in retrospect, but again, you're playing in the flow of the game, and that's not the way typically that we play. Uh, besides, nothing has drawn up is working anyway, so what good does that do? Uh, I thought Jordy's last miss three was a good look. That wouldn't change the complexion of the game. Again, you just look at missed opportunities. Uh, you know, we, got, we got Dougie Taylor down low so many times in that first half, and instead of being two points, it was either some missed free throws or we didn't get enough out of it. Uh, Dougie's better than that, and he'll. You can only learn that playing. So, again, their length down low certainly had its effect on us. Uh, we we tried looking at that zone a couple different ways, and the net result wasn't near good enough. Thirty percent from the field is that's that's pretty low. Does that execution become a lot better if uh, Antonio Campbell's available? Now? I refuse to use that for any. We, listen, we, we get rid of five guys on the floor. Uh, they all get the same scholarship. They all get the same stipend. And whoever's out there has a job to do. And, and as a group, collectively, we didn't get it done. The game won't factor any differently at the end of the year because Tony went down. But. You have an update on, on Tony? No, it's still too early to tell. We, uh, we're trying to figure it out. You, I know we can't walk on it very well. Coach, would you like to um, see Jerron Simmons kind of, a, kind of a flat stat line tonight? Um, would you like to have, like to have seen him attack the basket a little bit more? Yeah, yeah, he, he was having a hard time finding gaps, and and again that. That's absolutely a systematic problem. That you know, last year against these guys, they did a pretty good job of finding gaps, getting in there. Uh, we tried putting them late in the game in the high post, and, and we couldn't find him there. Uh, just didn't. Yeah, he needs to be playing more downhill. That's that's the net. But that's the bottom line. And he usually does. Obviously, the team you played with intensity was this the first time you saw an atmosphere that was similar to it. Yeah, it was, it was nice out there. It was nice to have the students back, uh, the 110. And uh, for all those that got all geeked about our, our three losses, or three wins, don't freak out over one loss. It, it'll be okay. We've still got a good, resilient group in there. and uh, It just stinks to lose at home when you've got exactly the type of atmosphere you want. I wanted to send everybody out here happy today. And we're a couple plays from that happening. Uh, I mean, did it feel bigger to you even uh, before the little scuffle um, with the flagrant? It looked like you were pretty animated. Uh, did it seem more intense than the like game four of you know? Maybe I was animated because I've never seen a, a flagrant one called after a discussion. If you have to discuss it to me, that would preclude that it's, it's like in the '60s, the definition of pornography. I know it when I see it. You know, I, that's a flagrant one. I should see something that. But then we'll just the game. We had plenty of time to make up for it. 
I mean, it was it was a good atmosphere, and I was pretty fired up, and I, I know our guys were. And uh, I wish we could have turned that into paid baskets. Jason Curry played really well down the stretch, uh, almost a silver lining tonight. His first career double double. How have you were uh, with this play? You're going to see a lot of those out of him in his career. He uh, he's got some real potential, and. Uh, didn't take me long to figure out that he was he was a good chunk of our offense tonight. He was the only guy over 50% shooting, uh, four offensive rebounds. Almost got his hand on a couple late. Uh, don't like the four turnovers, but pretty heady stuff for a for a freshman. Coach, you hold him to 19 points in the first half. What, in, from your perspective, what changed in that second half? The, I, I didn't think our defense in the second half was poor. Mm -hmm. I thought they hit a couple shots. Uh, Ty Tony got going a little bit. Uh, Thompson's just a beast in there. I mean, I thought we did a really good job on him for the entire night. Uh, especially considering, you know, we, we had two young guys playing against him. So that was, that was encouraging. But. Uh, listen, you give up 53 points at home, you should win the damn game, period. That's it. Bottom line, end of story. If you miss 13 free throws at home, you should lose against a good team. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say on the free throws. I, we, we, <laughs> we shoot and chart them every day. To a man, everybody's over 80%. Anybody know a good hypnotist? <laughs> Coach, uh, their zone seemed to open up a lot of room for you guys to shoot like elbow jumpers. Yep, yeah, we didn't knock them down. I mean, literally, we got the first half, we missed three. Uh, again, I, I, part of it is so then you're like, okay, can we put different people in that in those spots? Can we make better plays? Well. We try. We we just again. I'm at a loss. We on uh, pure jump shots tonight. I would hate to see our percentage. I mean, even if you take out the ones that were late shot clock and I, you know, I, I it's hard to see something go wrong and not be able to correct it. That that that's hard. Uh, It's hard because you feel like you're letting the team down. Do you, do you think it was just an off night, or is it maybe somewhat indicative of the team and the game really shifting to three pointers more than anything? And well, we should we shot less threes tonight than most nights by a lot. I mean, we twenty of our forty six. We're usually at least fifty fifty. Uh, some of that, some of those three point percentage woes. Or a direct reflection of us letting the shot clock get late and not making a play happen before. But I thought was so much emphasis on being patient against the zone. Were you guys too patient? Uh, certainly, we didn't make enough plays. So if that's too patient, then that's too patient. Uh, yeah, we we just weren't we weren't able to make the plays. And again, you got to give them some credit because there's not a lot of teams that have done that to us since I've been here. But, yeah, a lot of the cakes were not in jeopardy tonight. Anything else? I, I did not, I didn't see, as I saw the game play out, I, I didn't think we'd go through an entire game without a spurt. And honestly, one spurt is all it would have taken. But again, now that I sat through it and it didn't happen, now I can go back and kick myself all night about why I didn't do something different. Were you happy with the, the final three or four looks there? You had open threes that spun out three times. Yeah, yeah, three. Gavin had a good one. Jordy had a good one. Kenny have a good one? Kenny had a good one. Yeah, certainly as good as the shots we had generated all night and shots that we hit a good deal. But, you know, I, I talked to my team about this too. When, when you haven't seen the ball go in for a while, those shots become tougher. 
I just didn't know that we just didn't get we didn't make plays. We didn't make enough plays. And again, I the the one that just absolutely haunts me is the is the free throw. I mean, okay, if 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 you make seventy percent of your free throws, math geniuses, what do we got? I mean, that's your game right there. It is. It's your game. Come on, Ashcraft, we're looking at you. I'm not math genius. <laughs> Do you think on most days you find a way to win this game? I sure, sure hope so, yeah. <laughs> I, I, believe, I believe this group will find ways to win games of similar ilk, but uh, tonight we didn't, and tonight we have to sit on it. We got a tough turnaround, and we got Akron coming up, so that, that turns things around in a hurry. And again, not knowing what Tony's availability is going to be. Uh, 3-0 can turn into 3-2 and two real quick if we don't man up here a little bit. What do you get x-rays? Oh, we'll probe him every way possible. He's a valuable commodity. He's a valuable player. He's a valuable member of this team. And we'll use everything at our disposal to make sure that he's given the correct diagnosis and we take the right actions with him medically. Coach, have you been pleased with the defense throughout the season? I know today it was about offense, but just now the Giddy. Seriously, I, I can't, I, one of the reasons that this team has endeared itself so much to me is how hard they've worked. And it's fun to see them get the, again, 53 points against a good team. They're averaging 80 some. Which, again, that just underscores my frustration level at myself that we couldn't figure out a way to kick 54 points in. That is exactly why we, we played it out there at the end. Exactly why. Because we were a much better defensive team than we were offensive team tonight. Uh, Coach, what do you, the we'll, we'll loss is a bummer, but what do you think about the fans? Uh, they really got into the second half tonight. The fans are great. And it's one of the things that's very special about coaching here. And it's different than everywhere else we go in the MAC. And uh, I would encourage them to come back to see a few more points scored next time. Are you happy with the way the technicals were handed out after the dust? I, I, you know that that is. We're satisfied. No, I, I didn't <coughs> think. I didn't think. Again, I, you, you got to see from from the eyeball. I don't know what Gavin did wrong. You got a big guy laying on top of you. It's human nature. You, oh, whistle! I'm done. You know. Come on. But at the same time, I, I will say that they have a monitor, and they've got to make some tough decisions, and their angles aren't always the best. Uh, it's not like we have 15 Super Bowl game cameras in there. We don't pile on cams. We don't have. So you're dealing with one angle, and if, if one body's in the way, there's a lot you can't see. I, I get it all the time on, on my tape watching. So. But I, I'll need to watch more tape on that because my concern in that moment is trying to get everybody separated.